Hello everyone my name is Minisetti I hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about nominal gdp real gdp and gdp deflator so what is gdp gdp refers to market value of final goods and services produced within a country in a span of one year gdp refers to market value of final goods and services produced within a country in a span of one year and market value means at which price we can sell our product in the market now what is nominal gdp nominal gdp is the gdp that evaluated at current market price or we can say that we can measure nominal gdp as present price present price means price existing at given moment now we will understand nominal gdp with the help of an example here we assume only one good is producing in the economy here we assume only one good is producing in the economy in 2018 total production of good is 100 and existing price in 2018 is 10 100 multiply with 10 is equal to 1000 so we can say that in 2018 our nominal gdp is 1000 and in 2019 a total production of good is 180 and existing price in 2019 is 20 180 multiply with 20 is equal to 3600 so we can say that nominal gdp in 2019 is 3600 Now please listen carefully. No doubt, from 2018 to 2019, our production increased from 100 to 180. But at the same time, there is inflation because our price also increased. Our price increased from 10 to 20. Means there is 10 rupees inflation. If inflation include in this GDP, then how can you say that this is actual production of goods and services in our in our economy? Or you can say that how can we say that this is actual growth of our economy if inflation in include in this gdp that's why we can say that nominal gdp don't show us true picture of our economy now we are going to talk about real gdp real gdp is the gdp that we can measure at constant price or we can say that we can measure real gdp as base year price and this gdp is adjusted for inflation means real gdp don't have any effect of inflation we can understand real gdp with the help of an example here we assume for next 5 year our base year is 2018 means for next 5 year whenever we calculate gdp we will take only 2018 price because 2018 is our base year for next 5 year okay now we are going to calculate real gdp in 2019 total production of goods and services in 2019 is 180 and price existing in 2019 is 20 but in case of real gdp we will not take current price we will take base year price and our base year is 2018 means we will take 2018 price so quantities of goods produced in 2019 is 180 and we will take a base year price base year price is 2018 so price in 2018 is 10 180 multiply with 10 equal to 1800 this 1800 is our real gdp this is showing true picture of our economy because real gdp don't have an effect of inflation this is adjusted for inflation our nominal gdp was 3600 our real gdp was 1800 difference between 3600 and 1800 is 1800 this 1800 is nominal gdp was not actual growth of economy it was just effect of inflation but our real gdp is free from any effect of inflation now we will see gdp deflator so what is gdp deflator gdp deflator measure changes in prices of all goods and services gdp deflator measure changes in prices of all goods and services or we can say that gdp deflator basically see impact of inflation as we all know nominal gdp have a impact of inflation on the other hand real gdp is adjusted for inflation means real gdp don't have an impact of inflation that's why formula of gdp deflator is nominal gdp over real gdp multiply with 100 as we earlier discussed nominal gdp was 3600 and real gdp was 1800 3600 over 1800 is equal to 2 2 multiply with 100 is equal to 200 so we can say that there is 100% change in price or we can say there is there is 100% increase in price and this is all about a nominal gdp real gdp and gdp deflator i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care